happy Friday hope you guys are doing great so um, just wanted to encourage you guys a bit it's a beautiful day um, even though it's a beautiful gorgeous day it doesn't mean there isn't um, obstacles and challenges this morning after I made um, Ethan my son French toast and eggs for breakfast so he could go to school you know eating uh, a good healthy meal to face the day um, when I walked into his room I'm like hey son your French toast is ready and he's like he was asleep and he you know woke up all sleepy eyes and like but dad said I can stay home I'm like why um, he's like well there's a uh, school shooting threat at our school so he said I can stay home I was like okay well get some rest and I was just like amazed you know at you know thinking back when I was in his grade seventh grade like we never have to deal with that and now school shootings and threats and so much other nonsense our kids have to deal with and it's just it makes you sad it's like you know the America that I used to know fell in love with um, is so different now it's just it saddens me to know what our kids have to face that we didn't face you know anyways um and i was driving to work this morning beautiful day i was basking in um praise and worship just enjoying the beauty of it all i live i praise god that he's um, given me a beautiful city and town and place neighborhood to live in in this season i love 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 palm coast absolutely love it and it's just so beautiful I'm surrounded by his beauty and glory, beautiful magnolia trees, palm trees, clear sky, you know, just beautiful. As I'm just singing and basking in worship, praising the Lord, going to work, I come to uh, an accident. The accident blocked my way from getting on to I-95 to get to work. So it's like, man, that stinks. It's, I mean, I... I could have tried to get around it, but I'm like, I'm not gonna go there. So it forced me to make a U-turn and took an alternative route. And I'm really glad that it uh, that it did. Uh, not glad for the accident, but glad that I, it forced me to learn a new route to get to work. And it was a beautiful route. So I was like, oh wow, this is beautiful. And I don't have to deal with the hustle bustles of I-95 as you know, that road is called Old Kings runs right along I-95 and it's just so beautiful water fountain magnolia trees it's just gorgeous glorious and um I was just praising God for putting me in such a beautiful town and um it made me realize I'm like you know we do not have to change our targeted goals visions dreams that we are pursuing but Things happen in life, like that accident, like the school shooting threat, and um, and among other things, you know, sometimes people do things to us um, that causes a setback. Um, we didn't ask for it, you know, like some of us have been in car accidents where we were, we had no knowledge of it coming, you know, people, you know, hit us and out of nowhere. Mm my nose is itchy I just want to sneeze and um and sometimes we accidentally hit something somebody <laughs> uh, without trying to it happens life happens but instead of changing our vision changing the destiny the goal the dreams that we are obtaining are trying to obtain we just have to change routes and strategies so I just want to encourage you guys you know that be flexible and be encouraged and there isn't just one way to get to where you need to go there is only one way to heaven and that is through Jesus Christ the way the life and the truth and there is no salvation found in anyone else in no other name but Jesus Christ we're not talking about salvation right now we're talking about our goals and dreams here 
So I don't know what your goals and dreams and what you're pursuing in your life, but I'm pursuing health, mind, emotion, soul, body, spirit. I want myself to be well and healed and whole so that I can experience and live and enjoy the abundant life that Christ died on Calvary to give us. Amen. Our God wants us restored. Our God wants us healed. Our God wants us whole, mind, body, and soul. Our God wants us to be prosperous, even our soul to be prosperous, our thoughts to be healthy, our thoughts, the thoughts of Christ, the mind of God, the word of truth in our heart, our thoughts, our feelings to be right, our belief to be right, um, how we see ourselves that we value ourselves, that we love ourselves as we love others, how we see God, spam. Oh my gosh, I hate you, spam. Uh, so if those things are well and healed and aligned with God's heart and thoughts and truth, then we are whole in Jesus Christ so that we can live the abundant life of peace, joy, gratitude, thanksgiving, you know, um, all the things that the world does not have apart from Christ and the Holy Spirit that lives inside true believers. Amen. So I'm getting ready to walk into work. I came here 30 minutes early to do some things um, before I start work. I am just so thankful that God is bringing out his people, believers, true Christians um, into my workplace. Um, they, I, I love seeing couples that are pursuing health together met a precious couple brother and sister in christ that came in here they were joyfully holding hands coming in here and she gave me the biggest hug and we just sincerely genuinely love each other even my colleagues said man they love you and it's because we have the spirit of Christ, the spirit of love, the spirit of unity. You guys know what I'm talking about. When when we are truly in Christ, we walk in love. When we meet another brother, sisters in Christ, we truly, thoroughly, genu genuinely, sincerely love each other. We don't have to know each other, you know, from wherever, because it's the spirit of God that unites us, the spirit of love. So they saw that, they witnessed that. And I had the biggest, biggest, amazing, successful day yesterday. And um, before they left, we held hands, you know, and I prayed for them because they have to make a long trip to take care of um, his mom. He was in the army for 25 years, still works as a contractor for the government. She's a stay at home wife. They're happily in love and married. And, um, and you could see that their love for each other was so genuine and they're walking this journey together and we all three of us held hand we're like we're gonna walk this journey together i want to help them get healthy um so you know to lose the weight they desire to lose and the husband's like it's time for us we know that we've been out of hand and my heart just melted and it's like the first step of your success is acknowledging and you just did that so I have no doubt that you guys are going to be successful <clears throat> and I'm here to help you. We're here to help you. So I'm so excited. I got into this business uh, for myself because I wanted to make sure that I learned to live a healthy lifestyle inside and out and I desire to help others. If anybody is to be healthy and happy, it ought to be God's people. Hello. Amen. The world doesn't need another uh, grumpy, mean, mad, fat, you know, Christian condemning them. We need to represent Christ, our love for one another, like we exuded yesterday in front of my non-believing colleagues. Um, it was beautiful. And um, I know it's just it, it, like the whole office, you know, uh, change. Uh, why? Because love was present and um it was amazing and uh only god can do that and um I, I highly exhort you you know to live your best life by loving god loving yourself 
by taking care of yourself, your health, amen, before you try to love others. You can't even love others if you don't love your, yourself or love God first. All right, I've got to get in there. I love you guys. Happy, happy Friday. Make it a glorious day. I'm believing God for another glorious day. And I hope that you will have a wonderful weekend, safe weekend. Give him praise. I love you all. Bye.